we're grocery shopping here in the Philippines, and if you can see the prices, how cheap things are. Um, a can of Coke is 20 pesos. That's like 54 cents. And it's a regular can of Coke, as you can see. Nothing different about it. Um, and that's like, there's no way. In Toronto, a can of Coke, you're looking at minimum a dollar, 25, 35. Uh, Gatorade, a huge bottle like this, would go for about 2.99. It's going for dollar uh, 20. Right? Like that's ridiculous. So some of the prices here are so advantageous. If you um, wanted to do grocery shopping, I'd recommend it. Uh, then getting things from your hotel. Like we're buying a lot of our groceries here and drinks because at the hotel, that can of Coke is uh, almost like. Well, at 20, it's about almost five times as much. It's 100 pesos. So, it's the best thing to do when you're down here is just go out to a grocery store, grab your drinks, grab some food, kind of stuff you can cook, especially if you have, um, you know, a stove, which we don't. That's a problem. But if we had a stove, we'd be doing all of our cooking. So we're just grabbing instant noodles and uh, non-perishables. But uh, when we had a stove in Barakai, we bought a lot of meat and other food, and we ate great. So... Again, uh, super cheap, and they pretty much have everything you got in Canada here. Even Lay's and Dorito, but these things will be expensive. That's the problem. Anything that's really like um, an import from North America is super expensive. Because I don't know if Lay's has a manufacturing facility here in Asia. I'm pretty sure they import it. But if uh, a corporation has a manufacturing facility in this country, which Coke does and other Coke products, you get them for local prices, which is great. This about these supermarkets is that it's um I mean everything is so kind of clean and neat there's like so much labor there's pretty much one person on every aisle working the aisle to make sure that everything is kind of stocked properly like you see because again it's just like Asia has cheap labor as we all understand there's a huge supply of people so labor here is extremely cheap stores can afford to have staffs that are like 30 40 mostly students working all the time so you don't see that back home. Um, mind you, again, to the people back home, give them some respect because they do a lot of work. They usually have one person working multiple aisles here. You have one person just working one aisle. Keep making sure it's stocked and everything is uh, properly set up. So, and it's been a different experience.